when you're drawing, you're not just using your eyes, you're using your experience and understanding of the world around you. This exercise is about utilising your sense of touch. We're going to start with a group of objects that all have a very different texture. What we have here is a beautiful ram skull that is a favourite drawing prop of mine. What we have here is a thistle head, like a dried thistle head, and we have this sweet little retro teapot that has a very shiny, smooth surface. I'm just going to move these out of the way first. And how we're going to do this exercise is a little bit like being a human sketchograph. If we remember the sketchograph from when we were children, just like you're seeing now, what we have is we have a stylus that sits on an image and a pencil that works as the stylus moves and traces the image to represent that image on another piece of paper. Okay, that could have been altered to make it bigger or smaller or just the same size. But we're essentially going to do the same thing. We're going to put our hand on the object and as our hand moves, we're going to work at the same time and follow what we feel is happening with that object. This may sound strange, but what you need to do is close your eyes. The reason we do this is so that you're not drawing what you see, but rather drawing what you feel. So I've drawn this object, this skull, so many times that I know how sharp this is. So how I choose to draw this area around the nasal cavity may change the way that I work with my pencil. If I come up to across the nasal cavity, I can feel that I tend to exert less pressure as I work across and I'm moving that pencil around in my finger a little bit more and then I'm back to this really sharp edge. So I'm going to draw, I'll speed it up so you can sort of see what ends up happening. It's such a great exercise to really get you to think differently about how you approach drawing. It gives you the opportunity to tap into other forms of expression and also utilising different marks and being much more conscious of how your experience of the world around you can actually be described through marks as well. I'm going to change objects now. I'm going to bring across our thistle head instead. And this is obviously going to be a very different surface that we're dealing with here. And what I'm actually feeling is I'm only really able to touch the very tip of these spikes because it's actually resisting my hand to go deeper into the length of that part of the thistle. What I might do is I might turn it around and see what happens when I feel, oh yeah, so now, now I can, it feels much softer on the side. So I feel when I was doing the ends that I was representing that by a much sharper, harder mark. This is feeling like I'm working much lighter on the surface of my paper. I might turn it upside down. And this, this has a very different texture to it. So sort of coming into a center and coming back out again. It's actually quite rough on the inside. Just feeling my way in and around. The whole time I'm doing this too, I have my eyes closed. You may choose to do that. I 
find it much easier to do this with my eyes closed because I don't then try and over describe it by what I'm seeing. This is really about the experience of feeling. Okay, so I'm going to pop that one to the side too and now I'm going to bring the teapot. Now this is a very different feeling. It's cold, it's hard and it's creating a very different sensation under my finger. It's quite it's quite a hard, cold kind of surface that has no major variation in the surface really because it's so smooth and flat. If I turn it around. I'm feeling like my mark is also very regular because there's no variation in what I'm feeling. So I can kind of feel the point of that spout is a lot sharper than the surface of everything else. So that's where I do start to change how I touch this object and how I represent that. So you can keep doing this for as long as you like. So another great subject matter to work with is yourself or even if you can involve a friend or a family member to sit for you and draw what you feel when you traverse their face. It's obviously a very intimate thing to do, but the drawing then shows that as well. It becomes this very different connection that you get. So have some fun with it. Pick a whole bunch of different objects and enjoy.